Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to do a quick video on spring pre-emergence, how to apply them, when to apply them, and a few real important notes. So hold on one sec. Uh, it's another cold, windy day out here. <laughs> Why do I do this out here? Freezing my butt off. Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about pre-emergence. I've said it repeatedly and repeatedly. I believe pre-emergence are the most important part of taking care of your lawn if you want to have a really nice lawn, especially in neighborhoods where not all your neighbors take care of their lawns. they got lots of weeds. It's super important. Uh, before I get to the pre-emergence, again, real quick, if you haven't heard about the Super Juice, make sure you go to the website, howtoitdoc.com. Look at the new Super Juice. It's a dry mix spray fertilizer that can be used as a primary or supplement fertilizer for your program. It's really good for the spring because as soon as you spray that out, nutrients are going to start to get into your lawn within 1 to 24 hours. So it's a really good quick start for your lawn in the springtime. So make sure you go there and read about that. Secondly, we are doing giveaways this year. I was going to do one in December, but I had to put that off because of everything we had going on. you got to be a subscriber. We're going to give away a year worth of lawn care products so make sure you subscribe enough on that now let's talk about pre-emergence real quick um you know there's a bunch of numbers thrown around a lot of times you hear 50 degrees 55 degrees the biggest issue i think that you find and have to deal with is crabgrass there's sure there's other weeds they're easy to deal with but crabgrass is such a pain to deal with in dallas grass if you have dallas grass it's a real pain to deal with Really, uh, 52 degrees, I went to an extension office research website, 52 degrees is about the point where that's the trigger point at about one inch of soil depth. 52 degrees of where they say you should start looking at putting down pre-emergence. Here's the problem with that. If you're trying to do this by a date, it's really hard to do because you may have a warm front move in. You may have a warm front move in and all of a sudden you got crabgrass seeds germinating and then it goes back to cool, but it's not cold enough to kill off the crabgrass. So you really could have a big crabgrass problem and not even know about it. So I've done up a web page specifically on pre-emergence. And if you want to have a good lawn, and if you're about to put out pre-emergent, down in the description below, there's going to be a link to the website and I'm going to put some extremely important information about pre-emergence. I'm putting a link to a wonderful site that will show you not only your current soil temperature, but you can go to the calendar and look in years past and say, well, I think I need to be March 15th for my pre-emergent. Well, you can go back in February and see where soil temperatures hit 55 degrees in February in years past. Real good link on that site. I'm also going to talk about the double attack. The double attack is what I do with my pre-emergence, and I have zero weeds in my lawn, none whatsoever. And the way that I do this is pre-emergence are effective and last, let's say, two to six months. Okay, so if a pre-emergent is effective two to six months, why not put it out two, three, or even four weeks early and be prepared in case you have that warm front move in? Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. So most people here in Georgia, where we are, they're going to say, okay, a 50 to 55 degrees soil temperature. So March 1st to March 15th, I'm going to be putting my first round of pre-emergent out around February 15th. And it's going to be the granular. And there's a link over to the product I use there. So I'm going to be putting my first pre-emergent out February 15th, two to three, even four weeks earlier than everyone else. Then what I'm going to do about the time that March 15th or a little bit later than that, I'm going to come back out with a spray pre-emergent. I'm going to be putting a second coat of a spray pre-emergent on my lawn. Having done that, I don't have to put any weed killers on my lawn for the rest of the season. And I'm telling you, it's amazing what a real thorough coat of pre-emergent will do for your lawn. Now I can just focus on feeding my lawn and giving it the positive nutrients rather than spraying reed killer on my lawn in the middle of the summer. So go to that web page and read that. The other thing I want to make sure you understand is if you go out and try and buy pre-emergent around March 1st or March 15th or around the time for your area, good luck. Uh, it may be sold out. So I'm telling people, 
order early. I've already got my pre-emergent. They were still in January. This is the end of January. I've got my pre-emergent in the garage. I don't want to have to go out and say, okay, I'm going out this weekend and put my pre-emergent and it's not available. So order early. Again, I've got the links up there. I use the Barricade DG. As soon as you put it out, you wet it, it just it disappears because it's the DG formula. It just instantly goes down on the ground. That's my first treatment. My second treatment, I've got it listed up what I use in my second on the spray treatment. Um, and that I'll put out a spray treatment second. But I'm telling you, pre-emergent is the biggest. If you they said to me you can only put one thing on your lawn, nothing else I would put down pre-emergent because it, it's it's God's gift to a good lawn care. So anyways, guys, uh, that's just a quick note on pre-emergence. Don't be fooled by soil temperatures. Put it out. If someone says put it out March 1st, put it out two weeks earlier. Again, a pre-emergent is going to be good for two to six months. So put it out early and come back and do a second coat. Um, it, that program has worked so well for us and so well for many other people. I get so many comments saying, Doc, we followed your program and we have no weeds in my lawn. It works wonderful. So a couple of things. Go to that webpage, read the information on that webpage. If you haven't read about Super Juice, read about Super Juice. Make sure you subscribe so that you can be entered into our giveaways this year. The giveaways will be for um, a full year of Super Juice, some Humic, and possibly even some of the uh, Barricade for the fall. A uh, bunch of different stuff will be given away to people. And uh, that's about it. Again, quick video. It's cold out here. I'm going inside. Talk to you later. Doc.